Crazy Camouflage Found in Nature Hey everyone, it's Alexa again and welcome back to another video. In the animal kingdom, it's survival of the fittest, and animals have the most incredible techniques that they use to camouflage and survive. They can mimic plants, flowers, or their natural habitat, and it's enough to fool and confuse any potential predator. Today we have a look at some incredibly adept animals who take camouflage to another level. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Stick Insect this insect has got camouflaging down pat, and animals and humans have looked right past stick insects on account that they look exactly like, you guessed it, sticks. This incognito bug can remain perfectly still when it needs to, or they can sway to look like a branch blowing in the wind. They're not placid insects though, and can be assertive if they need to. American stick insects spray a mild acid from glands in their thorax, which can cause temporary blindness. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko Its name is enough to strike fear in most people, but there's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to the Europlatus fantasticus. It got the name Fantasticus from the man who discovered them in Madagascar, meaning mythical. A master of disguise, this gecko has a large, flat tail that resembles a leaf. The leaf shape allows the gecko to blend in perfectly with its surroundings. To further help with camouflage, the gecko's skin is marked with lines that mimic the veins of a leaf. Cuttlefish. A hide-and-seek champion medal would be awarded to the cuttlefish, who not only change color to blend in, but their skin is covered with color-changing chromatophores, which help reflect light. Added to that, the cuttlefish has tiny bumps called papillae that imitate the texture of rocks and reefs. The papillae extend or retract to allow for this unique camouflage feature to occur. Male cuttlefish disguise themselves as females to bypass other males to get closer to the females to mate. Chameleons. No list of camouflage would be complete without a look at chameleons. These color-changing species are prevalent in Madagascar, but you can also find them in Africa, the Middle East, and parts of Europe. That's if you look hard enough. It's believed that chameleons only change color when they're in imminent danger, to communicate with each other, or just to show what mood they're in. Feeling angry, a chameleon will usually sport a darker skin color. Ready to mate? A lighter tone should be expected. Common Barren Caterpillar going, going, gone. Thankfully, many butterfly larvae have the incredible ability to blend in with local plants. Otherwise, we would hardly have any butterflies. The common barren caterpillar is native to India and Southeast Asia, but they're a huge headache to mango farmers. They blend in so beautifully with the mango leaf that they're hard to spot and cause severe damage to mango plants. Tawny Frogmouth Often mistaken for owls, frogmouths are closely related to night jars, and they're famous for their massive yellow eyes, and when their beaks open, they look pretty comical. They're brilliant at imitating trees, particularly the Cassia fistula tree native to Australia. The moment they feel threatened, they close their eyes, lean back slightly, and blend into the bark of the tree. Tawny frogmouths are not the best flyers and don't catch prey as you'd expect. They simply sit in their tree, disguised, and wait for insects to fly past them and then grab them with their beaks. A very lazy bird indeed. Jaguar. These big cats are the only true big cat native to the Americas. Their fur has a blended spotty pattern, allowing them to disguise into their natural background. Sadly, and despite having this ability, they haven't managed to escape humans who have hunted them for their beautiful pelts. Vietnamese Mossy Frog This medium-sized frog is native to North Vietnam and Southeast Asia. The frog's skin varies from lush green to murky brown and has a bumpy texture to mimic moss. It spends most of its life pretending to be moss, and when it's under threat, will retract its body into the shape of a ball and play dead. When you can spot one, it will be inside a mossy cave or on the banks of rocky mountain streams. Because of their hard-to-reach location, not too much is known about this quirky amphibian. Stonefish It's a scary thought to think that the most venomous fish in the world is also a champion of camouflage. The venom of a stonefish can kill a human being. They're not very large, and with their coloring, they blend in well with the coral reef. They're brown or gray, with orange, yellow, or red patches. These unattractive fish can survive 24 hours out of the water, so technically you're not even safe on land. Their 13 sharp dorsal fins are full of a neurotoxin, which they will use when they're threatened or stepped on. Snowy Owls The Arctic tundra is a pretty cold place, yet it's still home to some amazing animals that are adept at blending into their surroundings in order to survive. Arctic owls, or snowy owls, have snow-white feathers so that they're difficult to spot against the, you know, snow. During the Arctic summer, snowy owls hunt by daylight, unlike regular owls. Katie did. 
Closely related to grasshoppers, katydids look like green leaves. Their wings also have a pattern that resembles the veins of the leaves. This camouflage keeps them safe from birds, frogs, and snakes. You may not often see a katydid, but you probably hear them at nighttime. When the males rub their forewing against the jagged edge of the other forewing, it makes a noise that sounds like katydid. They live in bushes and in the canopy of trees and feed on leaves or dead insects. Baird's Sandpiper This small shorebird is found across a large area, including the Arctic regions of Alaska and Canada. They then migrate to South America and sometimes the Atlantic coast, including New Hampshire. They're found on mudflats, estuaries, beaches, lakes, and marshes. The chicks of Baird's Sandpipers are well protected from predators because they blend in perfectly with their surroundings. Flounder. Discovered at the bottom of the Mariana Trench in 1960, the flounder fish is a hard one to spot. They prefer the warm coastal waters of the Pacific Ocean in North Atlantic Ocean. They spend their lives on the ocean floor and have speckled skin, making them really difficult to notice. It doesn't just offer them protection, but gives them a chance to ambush their prey. Depending on which ocean floor the flounder makes its home, the coloration can differ. Some can make themselves appear invisible to predators by digging themselves into the sand, while others have dappled skin to match their surroundings. Dead Leaf Mantis They make great pets and are easy to look after. They look exactly like a dead leaf, and this is not only to camouflage themselves, but also to help them catch prey. Interesting to note, these guys are as agile as a cat. Females also like to devour the male after mating. Egyptian Nightjar this small nocturnal bird is found around the globe and they have the nickname goat suckers because there's a myth that they steal goat's milk. It's true that they do like to hang out near goats, but that's because goats attract insects which the birds eat. Night jars make their nests on the ground, so their feathers blend into the desert habitat perfectly. They don't make a nest, but lay their eggs in the desert sand and protect their eggs until the babies hatch. They're found in North Africa, the Middle East, and Southwest Asia. Mountain hares. Widely distributed, mountain hares are breathtakingly beautiful with their white winter coats. These coats camouflage them within their snowy environments as they take cover from predators like foxes. Their coats change color to accommodate for the changing seasons. In winter, they're white and blue-gray, and in the summer, brown and tan. Arctic Fox Out in the tundra, the Arctic Fox has got to blend in, not only for its own protection, but also to be able to hunt for food without alerting potential prey. They are so white that their fur takes on a ghostly blue hue. They generally hunt birds, rodents, and fish, but they're not always successful in finding those, so they will follow polar bears and eat the scraps left behind. During the summer, their coats change to browner shades, allowing them to find coverage among the plants and rocks. Leafy Sea Dragon Also called Glowert's Sea Dragon, this crazy creature looks exactly like a marine plant. Their bodies are adorned with gossamer, leaf-like appendages. They blend in beautifully with the surrounding kelp and seaweed. If you look hard enough, you'll find them in South and East Australia, and they're usually brown or yellow in color. They're listed as near-threatened, as divers keep taking them for pets. It got so bad that by 1990, the Australian government placed the species under complete protection, and it is illegal to remove them from their natural habitat. Deadleaf Butterfly It's one you would easily miss because the deadleaf butterfly resembles a dry leaf, complete with veins when its wings are closed. Found from India through to Japan, these butterflies may resemble a leaf when their wings are closed, but it's a completely different story when they are open. When open, they are rich in beautiful colors. What makes the camouflage of this animal even more impressive is that the leaf wings change color to match the seasons. Pygmy Seahorse Camouflaging is the pygmy seahorse's specialty, and that's why we weren't even aware of their existence until very recently. Also called the Japan Sea Pig, this seahorse is tiny, around the size of a grain of rice, and they are very hard to spot. Research is underway of these small creatures who feed on plankton. They hide well in the colorful coral where they live. Sand Grasshopper This creature should maybe just be called a sand hopper and not a grasshopper. However, the sand is where you'll find them. When you do find one, you'll probably have stepped on it accidentally because you would not have been able to see it otherwise. They match their sandy surroundings perfectly, and they hop between brownish grass and sand with very few even noticing, especially the birds who would like to take a nibble. Thornbug they're related to cicadas and leaf hoppers and are masters of disguise as they look like thorns on a branch, as opposed to a tasty treat for a predator. They have enlarged and ornate pronotums, which look sharp and inedible. Very few predators would be willing to take a chance on this one. 
people. Humans have been using camouflage for a long time and we've become pretty good at it. Camouflage is associated with the military and in a jungle environment would be greener, a desert environment would sport more tan colors, and snowy climates, whites and grays. Camouflage has been used to hide far larger objects like forts, army vehicles, and equipment. Decoys have also been used as a type of camouflage. For example, entire fake cities have been erected to divert enemies away. Technology has given a wider scope for camouflaging and thermal imaging radar, satellite photography, and image enhancement have all been used to great effect. Orchid Mantis They may look beautiful and harmless as they're blended into their orchid with perfection, but they are ruthless killers. Their camouflage makes them look like a flower petal, and when an insect comes to feast on the flower, the mantis strikes and feasts itself. Which of these camouflaged creatures did you find the most impressive? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Peppered Moth These moths have kept up with the times brilliantly. Originally, their peppered wings would blend in with light, colored trees. But when pollution was rife during the Industrial Revolution in England, the trees became black with soot, so the moths changed color to a darker shade. As the environment has improved, so has the shading of the moths changed, so they can once again blend into the trees they rest in.